Welcome back to the next video on modeling a flowable application. In the last video, we created an application and a case model. And within that case model, we added a couple of stages. We then saw that the models that we build in flowable design can then be run in flowable engage. In this video, we will be adding a start form to the case. The start form will allow a user to enter any information relevant to the case when it begins. To create a start form, go to the case model that we have created in Flowable Design and click on Start Form in the Details panel. Make sure the new tab is selected, type in a name and key, and click Create. We are now in a new view, the Form Editor. Much like the Case Model Editor, there is a list of elements that we can add to the form on the left, and a section to change different properties on the right. The primary view in the center will represent a form that a user will be able to see and fill out. For our Proposal Manager application, we would like the user to enter some relevant information to the proposal each time a case is started. I will first add a text field which represents a variable that will be stored in the case. We will label this one Company. After clicking and dragging the text field into the form, enter a label for the variable. Its variable name will be automatically filled based on the label that we provide. The variable's name is important because it is going to be how we reference this variable later on in the case. Let's add another text field and label that subject. Next, let's add some relevant dates to the start form. Click and drag a date element onto the form and label it start date. Let's add another date and label that end date. Notice how we can lay out the elements in any arrangement that we want. I will put the dates side by side since they are related to each other. Finally, let's put a multi-line text field on the bottom and label that description. Multi-line text fields are similar to regular text fields, but have more space to enter longer segments of text into. Now that we have a start form with some information relevant to the proposal, let's give the application another test run to give us an idea of what this will look like in action. Click Save and Publish, and then go to Flowable Engage. After we start the case, we can see the start form we just made. Let's fill this out with some data. After we click Submit, the case will begin. Like in the last video, both stages of the case have been completed, but now if we look at the Start Form tab under History, we can see that the data we had filled out is in the Start Form. Right now, the information in the start form is not doing anything special, but will be accessible throughout the case, which I will demonstrate in the next video. Thank you for watching.